today I'm doing a video on a Maytag dryer that had a no start condition and I'll show you how I fixed it. Um, websites, some websites will say it's the thermal fuse, some will say it's the door switch. I'll show you what I checked and what ended up fixing it. And of course when working on electrical appliances always unplug it. So we're going to unplug the electrical line and unhook the, uh, the hose there. Alright, so I've removed all nine screws from the back cover. There's three on this side, three on that side, and three right here. And pull the cover back. And while you're in here, you might as well go ahead and vacuum it all out. Um, but we're going to get to this thermal fuse, and it's right here. So the next thing to do is uh, grab your multimeter and put it on ohms, if you have one. And then uh, pull the leads off of the thermal fuse and then check it across it and it shows it's good well normally the problem is the thermal fuse but in this case it's not so we'll have to do some further troubleshooting that one is good I'm reading zero ohms we'll go across this one down here that one's reading zero ohms we'll go across this one here reading zero ohms go across this one here that one's reading zero ohms so all those are good so we thought it may be the thermal switch but it, obviously it isn't we'll go check the door switch and that'll most likely be what the problem is for a Maytag no start condition so on the uh, dryer door I've got it open and this switch feels pretty uh, floppy here so I'm pretty sure that the switch is gonna be bad we'll open up this top and get to the switch To access the door switch on this particular dryer, you'll have to remove these two screws after you remove the lint trap. Remove these two screws here. And then on the, uh, the lid, you're going to be pushing in with a putty knife to push these tabs in. Like this. So, in this one, push in like that, lift up. That'll lift up. And just wait. Lean the lid against something safe. Now you can access the uh, door switch. To remove the switch, you'll have to unscrew the two screws that hold it in right here. I already loosened them up to make this video quicker. Pull that out and pull the connector off. Now on this connector, it's got two little tabs right here on both sides. So you'll have to stick a small screwdriver down here on this side and this side to get it over those tabs so you can pull this apart. That's how easy it is. So you can pretty much tell that this switch is bad just by doing this and it doesn't spring back. There's no spring left in it so we know this is bad. So here's a, an example of a good switch and here's the bad one. You can see it falling. Alright, so I put the switch in and I'm just going to hook it back up. And this shows you a perfect example of why uh, some websites say it's going to be the thermal fuse is going to be bad and other ones say it's going to be the switch. So you have to check everything out. So just lower the lid, push it down, install your two screws, put the lint filter back in and try it out. Alright, now the final test, see if it works. And it's working again.